Hello everyone and welcome to a video here on my second channel which is a continuation from a video I made on my main channel a couple of days ago where I brainstormed some ideas with my live stream chat and took those to a video to suggest some ideas for shulker boxes and how they could improve inventory management in the vanilla game. Now we are not on the Hermitcraft server right now, this is a backup of it where I've been using cub fans enforcer room slash bid for all of these random shulker boxes you know great place for me to come in and pick up some shulker boxes and talk about what it is that i want to talk about in this one though we actually have a mod running this mod is running on fabric it's called better shulkers and it's by arsenics ow i'm just going to quickly double check i got that right uh r rx and x ow There'll be a link to their mod in the description box down below. Uh, my friend, if you're watching, thank you for making this. It's really cool. I checked it out briefly, and the implementation of free enchantments is really cool. What we're going to do is hop into survival mode and just kind of experience that a little bit from this perspective. So if I go into an enchantment table and grab one of these shulker boxes, you'll notice I don't have the viewer on it. Um, you'll see it's a little bit buggy because you don't actually get anything in this slot here and you can't click it but we have enlarge and this comes in three different levels which i think is a really cool way to implement this so now our shulker box is enchanted and notice how it's actually shiny right here that's something that i don't think you can do in vanilla minecraft i tried adding an enchantment to a shulker box for an mbt editor and it didn't work now when we put it down on the ground it's no longer enchanted i think it might be a cool idea if ever something like this gets implemented to actually find a way to make it shiny on the ground or at least distinguish itself in some way so when we open it up you can now see there's an extra row of space in the shulker box that is obviously fantastic so we're going to go over here grab enlarge free and is that one enlarge too this one over here is so we'll uh, grab that put these down side by side so enlarge one enlarge two enlarge free i would absolutely love to have this in the actual game now these enchantments are compatible with two others these two other enchantments are mutually exclusive though we have them over here or i did i thought i had them i thought i had prepared some books i think i put the books in here yeah vacuum which apparently i spelled incorrectly and restock these are the other ones right here so let's go ahead and grab the one with enlarge two we're going to put vacuum on it you can see it's compatible if I try and mix that one with restock it's not working but if we do that there it is by the way I'm yet to find any bugs anywhere so far apart from the one where you try and enchant it in here and uh, it seems like this mods really well implemented but I imagine if you play around with it a lot you'll find ways to break it eventually um, yeah so they have these other properties but we have no way of knowing that when they're placed on the ground which I think is something important like maybe they should have little markers over the side to tell you what enchantment they have because you need to know which one you're messing around with right like is this my vacuum or my restock so anyway uh, we want to pinch a couple of shulker boxes in this room like we're gonna go tear up some terrain so we want we want that we want this uh-huh uh-huh and we definitely want that one these ones are going to be for the vacuum, I believe. And when you enchant them, you can see it doesn't say Minecraft, it says better shulkers. So yes, yeah, so we're going to put vacuum on each and every one of these. That means I'll also want to set them up as item filters, right? So we'll do something like this in each and every box. Just make sure there's space for items to be picked up. And now those items are going to be sucked up into these shulker boxes. So we'll put them back up here into the inventory. So I've ended up color coding these and creating four of each. We've got the vacuum ones and the restock ones. So what we're going to do is fly over to where I've been building recently and kind of emulate that experience. But I'm also going to do these one at a time and then after we'll find out how the shulker boxes kind of overlap. So we're going to start off with some building and the materials that I have right here are all ones that we can restock from these shulker boxes, right? So let's say I'm doing a bit of uh, landscape stuff over here, okay? You'll notice that in the hotbar over here, these materials ain't ticking down at all, which is just fantastic. This feels so right. I cannot tell you how right it feels to actually play around with this idea. 
maybe it would be a good idea to have like a little animation or just something somewhere that lets you know hey you just you just took that out from a shulker box and it needs to be subtle and not intrusive because it's going to happen constantly every time I'm placing a block here it's coming out of a shulker box so the question is which one is it and because we can't peer directly into these shulker boxes we're not actually going to learn right now which is why I brought a chest with me because we're going to need to jiggle some things around essentially let's chuck all of this stone into here for now and then put these I mean you can see now you can see what we're looking for right you can see that the numbers are changed. So we'll put those in the first five slots and quickly, I don't have it in my inventory. So now when I place those, the numbers go up. Uh, we got that in our inventory. So currently it looks like that. We place a bunch of these. And then when we go in there, we'll see that number has ticked down. So if I start spamming this all over the place, eventually it will run out completely, right? So we have five left, one, two, and now there you go. <laughs> Working perfectly. Now what I haven't done here is like overlap the amount of uh, materials that we have inside the shulker boxes and it also might depend on what order they're in in your inventory for which it pulls them out of. So we've also got materials like dirt, grass and oak but we kind of emphasized the point already. Uh, let's now mess around with picking up items quickly because there's dirt and there's grass in this area and they go into that stack as to be expected I guess. Aha, huh, we're finding parts of... Uh, Oh, oh no. No mycelium. <laughs> we don't want that around here. Okay, so now we need to go and grab the other shulker boxes for the next part of this, right? So we'll do away with our ones that restock. Now let's grab our vacuum ones, okay? I've got dirt, I've got grass in there. We can see the quantities we have on our hot bar. And yet, oh, it just feels so right. It feels so right that it works this way around. I love it. Now we are picking up some clay, some sand, some other materials, right? So then I, what I would do as an organized player is come into here, right? Mix that up. We're going to put in some clay, some sand, some gravel. I'm just going to chuck the other stuff in here so our inventory looks really nice and clean. Okay. Even the mycelium, that gets to go in there. So now, oh, apparently, wait, where did I get the clay from then? Did that come out of here? Dude, I'm recording a video and you turn up with some trades. Typical. All right, so now when I'm tearing out this area, uh huh, look at my hotbar staying nice and clean. This feels so right for vanilla. I know not everyone agrees on what's vanilla or not, but to me, this just makes so much sense. Like, I'm doing the vanilla work, yet all of those items are just going into that shulker box, getting tidied away like I like, like I want, even. Oh, that is so good. Okay. Okay, you can see it's the same place as the last video, right? Where I was making this point about all of these items getting accumulated inside of your inventory. You know, you're out here, you're chopping down the trees because you're preparing the area. You're getting all of these flowers coming into your inventory. Look, my, my hotbar is just a cluttered mess right now. So I can go like this, swap them out. I guess some of the other materials are already going into the chest, right? Including the one from the tree. And when I get back at it... You know, let's go for the flowers. Oh, it just feels so right. It just feels so right. I now want an excuse to play Minecraft with this. Because it's so good. <laughs> it really is. I think we have birchwood in there as well. It just goes straight into the shulker box. I, I really feel like these three enchantments are fantastic. And of course, all the items are now gone into here. Brilliant. Absolutely love this. And I'm going to try and say your name again as I read it from the page. Uh, Arks Anix OW. Thank you for making this. Again, peeps, it's linked in the description box down below. I believe it is going to continue to be developed. So I'll be keeping my eye on that and possibly making um, some videos in the future. But, you know, I'm excited by this. But I kind of know it doesn't, you know, just because I think I got a good idea doesn't mean it ends up in the game. And uh, peeps, please don't pester the Mojang mods about this stuff. Mods, Mojang developers, you know what I mean. Um, it was just a really fun exercise to see <laughs> those ideas, you know, go into actual playable form in the game. And it's done through Fabric. So Fabric is the map pla mod platform. You can find a link to better shulkers in the description box below. And it adds those new enchantments, which I can't remember if I showed you. Um, you can jump to over here uh, in the better shulkers tab, right? Pretty cool. I like that feature. 
yeah, time for me to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.